another song, the Bob Dylan song, the Davy Moore song, uh, you know, um, and, and that song famously asked, like, who, you know, who bears responsibility? Um, what are your thoughts? Like, who can do more in boxing to prevent, let's say... Well, well if you've been watched in the, even there's a line like that in the song by uh, Zeman. Mm -hmm. He said, if, uh, he asked him who's the responsible for the death of Duke, who killed So, you know, someone said it should, should have been him or something, you know what I mean? I never know, you know, that's the only line of that song I really don't understand. I really don't. He's talking about me, he's talking about the referees, he's talking about him. I, I don't, if you listen to that song, the mm -hmm. one line I still understand, I think it's up for interpretation, right? But no, I did, look, I, for example, <laughs> we're talking about, maybe Michael agree with me when he comes back. But, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So, here's the thing, you're talking about tr fighters train, right? We have a certain, we have to read a, we have to read, uh, meet a certain, a certain decorum to fight. Conditioning wise, you gotta go through the, the doctors, the test, right? The referees got to go through certain training. Impressive. The judges should be going through the same. They go to a certain line, but shouldn't they keep up with it? Because if you're going to go by the fight two weeks ago, and and, and the judges one one nineteen one or nine when they had Lopez, and, are you yeah, yeah. are you kidding me? Are you, Julie Letterman, or what is she? Are you kidding me? Yeah, and, yeah, we we talked about that with Mike. Yeah, that was uh, Steve Weisfeld had a, had a five rounds. If come up, look. I'm not going to beat that fight up because because we know what's his name Loman didn't do nothing for the first six, but yeah. he won from seven to eleven. He won every round. Yeah, yeah. Give Lopez the twelve. I'm not saying he didn't win the fight, but give him the last round. So it's seven five. It's one. Yeah, that's what we had it. That's what we had it. Yeah, one fifty one thirty. One fifty one thirty. But even this, there's still argument that he might have won the second round because the second round nothing was happening, and he might have done a little bit just enough to win. So if that's the case, it's six six. It's a draw. I had it a draw. Like, I had it a draw. That's legitimate. I would have been okay with that. You know, I had it 7-5 either way or a draw. Like, I, I could see. Like, I personally scored it, right. but if you have it 7-5 either right. way, I'm not right. Happy with you, I know? that if you're right. I said a sick round, and then I gave a sick round. The first five out of six were to Lopez. The next five out of six were for Loma. I, I, I don't know what they said he wanted. Threw me this, he did yeah. that. I mean, Lopez, I Lopez can fight. But Lopez, it wasn't a world beater in that fight. He didn't know what to do. He was backing up after that. When, when Loma stood to go toe to him, he backed him up. I thought so, too. Yeah, when he went on the inside, I thought... Yeah, like, but, but the last round, the guy came on. And I thought Loma shouldn't give him yeah, a yeah. round, but he, for whatever reason, he did. But L L Lopez is a good fighter, and I, I think he's a star. But I'm not like, oh, man, that's the next Duran? I, I, don't, I don't see that. I mean, people always exaggerate, but I mean, but those are, you know, like, those are the judges, let's say, but in terms of like the actual, like, do you think like referees should maybe uh, pull the trigger earlier? Cause then people will criticize them for stopping it early, you know? Of course, and I've, and I've criticized referees, their fights, I've done commentary for pulling too early. Oh, there was oh, better let them early. But you could take away a kid's opportunity, you know, to land on his feet. If a guy lands on his feet, he may get a fight done, an opportunity months, you know, and, and, a month and a half or a month two later to continue fight in, in a big fight, it could change his life around. But when you when you get stuck, you have to wait out X amount of months or X amount of weeks, whatever it is, 90 days, that's, that's you know, that's three months. And, it, and then you get, it's just, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I, yeah, I think the referees now, especially, and there was no, no dispute after the Kim fight, these guys are pulling the trigger early. They were scared to get, Criticism from the press, criticism from the public. Chris, oh man, just do your job, man. If you know your job, just do your job. You're the man in there. There's always there's that one a lot of reference. I'd rather be one punch too too soon than one punch too late. That's valid. That's a good statement. But well, are, are you gonna be are you gonna be huh, five punches too soon? Are you gonna do it? I mean yeah, some yeah, guys yeah. are fighters, man. Come on. Fighters, let the guy fight. You don't know when a guy a guy's hands drop, his head goes, yeah, he's knocked out. But if a guy's still throwing punches and you just jump in because of, because of your own uh, uh, intuition, that's stupid, man. Well, I mean, I, no, I definitely get that now. But then you have these cases. And this is, this is like, take Tyson Fury versus Wilder in that last round, right? Like, Fury went down, he's out cold. If the ref stops that fight, you go, oh, okay, like, that made sense, maybe. Right. maybe right? But then he got up two seconds later. It, it was a misleading impression. Exactly. And he got yeah. up. And, 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 and they got it. You know what? By getting up. And the referee not stopped. Because the referee could have stopped it even when he got up. Yeah, yeah. By, by, not, by getting up, 
And by not stopping it, because the referee could have went like this as soon as he went down, right? And by yeah. not stopping it, saved his career and got the rematch and saved, got him to the world title. That referee is meant to give him the world title. And, and, and not by anything, by just by letting the fight continue, letting him finish on his feet. Ray, <laughs> you mentioned Julie Letterman and her card was ridiculous. But I want to defend Julie because not only was her father one of the greatest. Harold's one of the best. What? Yeah, Harold's one of the I best. Think, I loved Harold. Sometimes we forget the referee, the judge, the commissioner. They're all human beings. And sometimes people, I think Julie Letterman just had an off night. And Julie's a lovely woman. She's a lovely woman. But she was wrong. But, but Mike, not a little wrong. Woefully wrong. Woefully wrong. Woefully wrong. Woefully wrong. What do you think about this? Some people have mentioned that putting the judges at ringside or even away from ringside where they have a TV screen and there's no noise. They can, and they can watch it like everyone does at home. See, that's the argument. Everyone says, well, they're sitting right up there looking up. They, I agree with that. People are saying, put them in a room and let them watch the fight as the people are at home. That's a valid statement. I think that's a good thing to do. I yeah, do too, man. Yeah. I don't know why they haven't done it already. I don't know why either. But that everything, is, you know, the, the, the chain game is changing. You know, we got, you know, they got now you could watch, re, pre, uh, you could watch a, a, a review with replay, baseball, replay. football, doing boxing. Let Just sit back in a room. You could change the game a little bit. Yeah, I absolutely. Play. I agree. Especially when it comes to like, um, you know, missed knockdowns or low blows. I mean, these are cases where, you know, the guy is losing the fight maybe because yeah. of the call. You could just do a replay. You see it. You make the right decision. So, I mean, I absolutely, you know, we discussed it with Mike after after the Lopez Loma fight.